Well, I want to alert you to alert you to a couple of facts. Actually, uh, Donald Trump has been buddy buddy with Bill Clinton for a very long time. Now, I know one pitcher or even a dozen pitchers is not proof of that, but um, actually, Donald Trump many, many times has said that Bill Clinton was the greatest president we ever had, and he used to back in the day, not that long ago, praise Hillary Clinton as a great senator from New York. Now, I know he could be just playing like businessman and all that kind of garbage. I know that, okay? Very much aware of it. But um, I'm going to tell you, there's some things that I ain't adding up. To, well, I, I, I'm sensing that he's running for a third party. Because he's talking like, oh, the Republicans are going to, they plan to treat me unfairly or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he has been buddy-buddy with the Clintons a long time. That was pointed out early on, and I was thinking he was a ringer for the Clintons right from the beginning. But he said he was not going to run by for a third party, even though he was like kind of hesitant at first, and he signed his thing. He said he wasn't going to run. But then he starts talking this other stuff. But I'm going to give you a couple more other things here, though. See, he's always bringing up the fact, at least not the fact, I, I don't even think it's a fact, but it's one of the lamest things to even say about Hillary Clinton. She, he says she doesn't have the stamina or staying power for the presidency. I don't think that's really true with Hillary. Um, you know, there's a lot of things wrong with Hillary, but uh, she's got the staying power. I can tell you that right now. Ask old Huma Aberdeen, her girlfriend, right? Now, I think Trump is going to pull the same stunt that little man Ross Perot pulled. Trump's been an entertainer. He's he's a he's like the perfect guy. I mean, he's better than freaking Ross Perot. If Ross Perot freaking totally derailed H.W. Bush, man, you know Trump is gonna have no problem derailing anybody. You know, <laughs> because I mean, I'm not saying H. I was a fan of H.W., but he was extremely popular in um, 1991 on Hot on the Heels of Desert Storm. You know, Desert Storm, what was the ground war? I think it was in uh, March or April um, in 1991. I mean, a year before, the, and right after that, his, his his ratings were astronomical. They were 90%. <laughs> I mean, this guy was walking on water. Uh, so maybe his ratings went down a little bit from the 90%, but they didn't go down to like, you know, lose unless it was Ross Perot that made him win, uh, made him lose. And that was a deal all along, and Ross Perot did it again. So I'm looking at this deal like Hillary's got, and Bill, they got it up their sleeve with Trump. I'm, I'm thinking this. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I did a little test. I posted some stuff on GLP, God Like Productions. Now, I know... Their conspiracy site, but they've been bought out by the Tavistock Institute a long time ago. It's like a conspiracy site that really is hell bent on uh, getting the conspiracy people directed in certain directions. Now, I I try to post something, just some of these things about what a third party never won in the United States American election, even. Um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, who was a former president, you know, he was like a war hero with the Rough Riders charging up San Juan Hill, 1898, big game hunter, naturalist, extremely popular. And, you know, that made Woodrow Wilson president. Woodrow Wilson had two years' experience as governor of New Jersey, and before that he was just a University of Princeton professor. Basically... You know, Woodrow Wilson was a lot harder to elect than Hillary. And, you know, I know all the stuff about Hillary with Benghazi and the email scandal and the the leaks in the State Department and the Clinton body count and everything else, the Bush body count, whatever, you know, the Putin body count. There's a lot of body counts, man. But uh, make no mistake, if she gets in, um... Uma is going to be your co-president. Remember when Bill was president? She was like co-president, even because she was the wife. Uma from the brother, Uma, Uma Aberdeen from the brother, um, Muslim, bro, brother, what the hell you call that? The Muslim Brotherhood, the brother Muslim. <laughs> the Muslim Brotherhood, she's going to be in the adjoining bedroom. Now, Hillary's got plenty of staying power. She's got this hot 
girlfriend. I'll tell you that right now. She's uh, she's alive and kicking, man. I mean, she ain't hot looking, but she's got plenty of staying power. Um, me now, if I, you know, I'm going to tell you this too about Trump. In 2012, Trump was criticizing the hell out of the Republican Party for being mean spirited against uh, Mexican immigrants. Now, I'm going to tell you this. It's, just, you know, it's like, I I really, I hate putting out these videos because sometimes, because I, sometimes I got to think like not to go too far because people just don't want to hear it. And it's been a many times I have to not, I have to refrain from really telling you what the deal is or what I really think the deal is. And, you know, people come back, do your research. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. Get the hell out of here, man. I'm very much aware of these type of people, man. I am very keenly aware of them. Um, as far as, like, Trump, him talking about the illegal aliens or whatever it is in this country. Now now he's talking, like, I'm going to ship them all back. They're, they're bringing all their bad stuff over here. Or uh, What is he saying else? What else is he saying? He's saying that they're committing the crimes and, and you know, I'm going to build a wall. Before, he was saying in 2012 that the Republicans are being too mean-spirited. Now, I'll guarantee you one thing. Him being in the type of business he is with real estate, enter, um, construction, um, casinos, restaurants, he's, he hires loads of illegals. Got to. Cans down. You know why? Because it's great for him. Because he get, gets them cheap and he can get rid of them anytime he wants. Hey, fired. Hey, what do you do? Go to the freaking... Uh, uh, the unemployment at uh, the uh, Department of Labor and bitch about it? No, you're illegal. Uh, I almost guarantee you, hands down, this guy's hired a lot of illegals, whether you can prove it or not. <laughs> he get his money doing nothing. He's a scammer, man. He's a scammer. And you also, also got to remember, Trump, you know, being on the uh, television airwaves with... Um... Now, I'm not down on what Trump says, you know? Actually, I think he's a little extreme on illegals. Actually, I'm going to give you a little uh, how I, I think I would handle the, uh, you know, the Mexican immigration problem, whatever the hell it is he's talking about. I got a way of handling it. We'll get on to that. But Trump has been somebody. He's at. The, he's an entertainer, man. He's an actor. He's he's been running that show, The Apprentice, a long time. You think he's like being a real Trump? He's an actor. And, you know, actually, when you're in business, you're an actor, a bullshit artist, the whole damn nine yards, besides being smart and skilled and everything else. That's exactly the name of the game. Um, I just don't think he changed that much inside of a matter of two or three years on the Clintons. No way in hell. You say, I don't know? Okay, fine. I don't know. You know, I can tell you this. You know, I'm suspicious. I threw that thing out there, some stuff out there on GLP as a test. The GLP people, the godlike production Tavistock people, removed it. Because, you know, it's like food for thought. I think they're pushing, like, on these conspiracy sites where everybody's fed up with... They're not really bad, the conspiracy sites, but I'm saying where people are all fed up with the garbage that's going on, where the, everything's rigged, you know. They're pushing the Trump alternative. If this guy runs, Trump runs in third party, which I think he is... I can't see him being on a Republican ticket. He's got no political experience at all. Zero. And you say, what's that have to do with anything? Um, well, we've, we've never, i never seen anybody on a major party ticket with no political experience get nominated. Is there anybody? I don't know who. I mean, anybody? I mean, really? What is it? I mean, God, I mean, he's... It just wouldn't fit... So he's going to say, I was treated unfairly. He's going to run on a third party. So what I see is this. Um, you know, as far as, like, people coming in from Mexico and stuff, actually, I don't really give a damn too much about that. I'm not really, like, hardcore conservative in a way. And I do see, like, problems where you got people that are doing a lot of major crimes, and then Obama releases them or just lets them go to back to Mexico and then they come back here and commit another crime that kind of stuff but I ain't really that st- I mean I guess the rules got to be there but you know if I was the, the dude in charge of the immigration I'd be looking the other way as far as uh, 
you know, hey, Mexicans are over here doing a job, you know, the girl's over here trying to clean the car or something like that or whatever, she's trying to earn a living, fine, you know, bring her over. Now, I think Bill Clinton ought to be in charge of immigration because I think Bill Clinton ought to filter out and personally interview all the Mexican women coming over. And this way, you know, with his uh, expert uh, judgment and uh, evil eye, uh, he can figure out who the hell comes in the United States and who doesn't. So, you know, I think maybe that might be a solution where maybe he could make kind of like a deal with the Democrats and uh, keep Bill happy and maybe keep everybody happy and just put Bill in charge of immigration and uh, he can interview each Mexican woman that comes through what he cares to interview with on a one-to-one basis and if he deems that they're fit to be citizens of the United States they get instant freaking citizenship and they're USDA approved for you know American consumption so um, I think that might be a deal too you know I mean as far as like if we gotta play like stuff like the way Trump is talking I could talk whatever way I want to too right so I could be talking this will be my immigration policy okay and I know I know Trump is buddy buddy with Bill and actually you know in reality I didn't even notice um, you know this sounds almost ludicrous and I never believed it well at least I know my great grandfather must have believed it he was the son of um, illegitimate well at least my great grandfather great grandfather believed it anyway he was the illegitimate son of Edward the Seventh which supposedly Bill Clinton's got a uh, uh, lineage back to that which if that all is true that uh, he makes him sort of a cousin of mine so cuz bill i think this would be a pretty cool deal because a sweet deal you know bill clinton's in charge of um you know filtering out and what's the good mexican girls and stuff that come in this country that should be approved for you know americans and he could you know he could interview them first now we could also make a trade we could make a trade and since I know Hillary Clinton's got all this political experience, years of political experience in negotiations, she's an attorney, she's sharp as a tack, we could make a trade, you know, um, like a million of the best looking Amer- um, Mexican women for Hillary Clinton, and they could have her. How's that? I think that would be a deal Trump would be proud of, too, if we could do that. Then we get rid of her, and we get all the good stuff over here. So, what do you think about that? But I want you to think about, seriously, I want you to think about this, about Trump playing a game like to get Hillary Clinton. He's been buddy-buddy with him forever, man. It's like, I mean, you know, what do you think? that Somebody don't change that much that fast. And he's been... I don't know, he gives to both parties, fine. But he's been buddy-buddy with the Clintons forever. Really tight. I mean, he's not just kissing her ass and saying stuff like nice to him because he's a businessman. I don't know, man. I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And, you know, him telling, constantly repeating that Hillary Clinton doesn't have the staying power for the office reminds me of like a button that hits on certain things whereby it's almost saying like oh because Hillary Clinton is a woman she can't do the job which makes more females jump on that bandwagon but him saying that and I I, you know he he could be saying a lot of other stuff about her big time man oh big time and then email scandals he says that she shouldn't even be running because of email scandals. Instead of, like, bringing up specifics about those scandals or Benghazi, he just says she shouldn't be running. So he's kind of, like, polarizing the issue right there without actually bringing up... Because you could blow Hillary out of the water pretty damn easy if you wanted to. I mean, if you had the audience to do it, you could do it easy. Easy. But nobody does it. Because I can tell you one thing. I think the Republicans on the top and the Democrats in the top, they're all in on it together, man. Obamacare, like, you know, was it Boehner? He was, he was profiting by 
um, the companies that were profit by the Obamacare. He was investing in that before it happened. He wasn't trying to stop it. And the TPP, the Republican establishment's all part of that, the Trans-Pacific Partnership that's going to export jobs out of America. And if Hillary gets in, I think uh, Bill Clinton's going to have, have some kind of position maybe as ambassador to the United Nations. So maybe, maybe we could just have him as an you know, immig- chief immigration interrogator, interrogator, whatever, um, person that approves Mexican women coming over here. I don't know. Maybe that would be the deal with him. But uh, if Hillary gets in, we're going to have not just Hillary. We're going to have Uma Aberdeen and a Muslim Brotherhood in the White House. You think Obama was bad? Shit. I, I don't know how to put this out because I can't, I can't put this out too serious because nobody, you know, people don't even want to listen to this anyway. If, if you're a Trump fan, you're not going to want to hear this because I'm just telling you, like Santa Claus is a joke, man. You know, I mean, I I even I put stuff out about Vlad Putin, and I tell you what, if Hillary gets in, I'm going to be really freaking nice to Vlad from then on. Definitely, I'm going to be super nice to Vlad Putin from now on. I, I'm already starting. I'm telling you that right now. But uh, I think that uh, um, the deal with Trump is that uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna give up basically until either he gets the nomination, which I see is impossible, and gets the full nomination. And then he say he did get the nomination. He, you don't really know what the hell he could say that could screw up the election for the Republicans. He could do anything. The guy's a wild card to the max. He's unproven. Um, I don't think he will get the Romney nomination for that reason. And if he doesn't get the Romney nomination, he's going to be a Ross Perot because he's been he's been. It's a game, man. Nobody's going to want to hear this out. Well, there's going to be some people want to hear it out. But I am so, like, people are not, there's going to be enough people that don't want to hear it out that's going to throw the election to Hillary. There isn't anybody that's going to challenge Hillary right now. Forget it. I don't see how. I don't see how. Yeah, I mean, there might be something somehow out of left field. I don't know, but something. I don't know, man. Maybe a meteor coming from the outer space and hit her on the head or some shit. That might work. I don't know. But that's about it. I, I, she looks like she's definitely going to be the Democratic front runner. She's going to be on the ticket. And I'm not sure who's going to be a Republican. Um, but I see Trump's got enough steam that... He's gonna run third. He's gonna run third parties. He's gonna give it to Hillary and, a- and Uma Aberdeen. So I'm trying to negotiate a deal here with Bill. Maybe he can freaking uh, scrap this bullshit and get rid of the wife and trade her over to Mexico, and he could be the guy that checks out all the freaking um, you know prime USD uh, agricultural approved uh, Mexican women that are coming over here himself personally. And I think that would be a good trade. You know, really some, a million really nice looking me- Mexican women. And they can have Hillary. Uh, she's a great negotiator, man. She's, you know, whatever. <laughs> that would be the deal. That would be the deal. So, I don't know. Just just beware of what's going on, man. Nobody's going to believe me. I don't know how to put this out. I can't put it out serious because if I put it out serious, it would be like, they're not going to want to hear it. Nobody want to hear it. Nobody's gonna want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear the truth, man. I really, I, I see this. So, you know, the only thing I, I was thinking maybe he's legit was because he said he was, he signed something that he was not gonna run third party. Which I said, well, he could break that rule, but that would make him look really bad. But he's already talking about it. they're, oh, they're treat me, they're gonna treat me unfairly. Shit. I read this guy like a. I think I read them like a book. Okay? I've been around this shit, man. And I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that's blatantly saying it like this. You know? 
And I, I actually, I think Bill, Bill doesn't really give a rat's ass about this crap too much. As long as he's in a public limelight, people like him, and he's got all the pussy in the world. So he could be made a deal. That's the way I look at it. But I wish I had the power to make these deals, but that would be the way I'd do. Because actually, I don't mind Bill too much. I don't like her. Holy shit.